Oh, I'll go back home just to leave out where I left off. Oh my. Yeah, what was I supposed to do there? You kind of blocked me. I see how this is gonna go. You're gonna just fucking spew crystals from the ground and try and kill me. Well, try and get me. What do I do here? Oh. Nod. Nod. This wise looking dragon acknowledges your desire to su for survival. It nods by default. Bye. Thank you. Oh boy. Crystals. Lots of crystals. We meet again. You look horrible. I was really rude before. Said some nasty in, in in decent language. I hope you don't mind. 
you annoying hidden danger. You know, I changed my mind. I won't stop you from running around anymore. I will let you go to the library. Let you see the bastard you care so much about. I'm looking forward to what your return after meeting him, but I'm even more curious about what what he will do after seeing you. I'm very optimis optimistic about you. See you soon. You're completely useless test subject. Okay. So let me go. Oh boy, the frames are starting to draw. Oh. Hi. You're not gonna kill me, are you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're just gonna let me leave, right? Um... Why am I going slower? Please let me go. Everything's going gray. I'm dead. Assimilate him. Assimilate! After facing so many dangers and fears, you can't hold it anymore. You fall down. Ordinary person, after experience so many bars are things in a day, your mind and body can't preserve. It's so devastated. You hope you are dreaming. You hope that you will wake up in a in the big bed at home. But that's impossible. All this is so real. What happened? What happened outside? Where has everyone gone? Now do you get out? How do you get out of here? Loneliness and fear erode your heart. You would rather sleep like this instead of getting up. But through the power of determination. In the haze, you feel you vaguely feel like you are being hugged tenderly and then put in on a soft blanket. Dot. Exclamation. This is the library. Oranges with some black goo on them. Did those black latex beasts pick them for you? Heart. You can't. You can't wait to peel the oranges off and eat them. The oranges are sour, but it's much better than being hungry. Somehow you miss home. You hold back your tears and eat the oranges. <laughs> you feel better. You clean up the leftover cores and peels and stand up. It's time to go. A chunk of the tree perfectly hides you from view. Oh, that must be useful later. The, the machine is connected to the door, to the right, but requires a password. Find your big clues. The answer of the neighbor room riddle is passcode. Is, is the passcode. Back way is blocking the crystals, I see. A dead tree used to be a potted plant.
Oh fuck. Crow boy. Look at me crow things. I'm being attacked by crows. Do I have crow feet on my leg? You know, the crow's feet when like, you get on my face. Like, whatever. I can run now again too, I should remember that. To be a big, be a pot of plant, and now it's a pot of an orange tree. You attain all the year unattended all year. This pot of plants and it's grown to an undesirable size. A dead tree used to be a pot of plant. Paintings of the moon and the earth will be related to the password. Okay, so here's a funny story about this here. So, <clears throat> I don't think in the normal version it had the 90 degrees thing, so it was harder to figure out. Um, when my boyfriend first played through this, um, he was stuck at this part. Uh, all it was was the arrow and the moon, and, and you know, the word moon, right? The earth and stuff. This, this puzzle here is moon turned 90 degrees, obviously. Um, not the moon itself, but the word. Uh, he didn't know that. I, I saw the arrow and I saw the moon, well, I was like, well, you know, moon sideways, it looks like 3002. And sure enough, that was the password. So, just a bit of backstory on that. But yeah, the password is 300. It's moon sideways. Actually, I mean, I could just get killed now, can't I? Probably should have saved before, after unlocking the door. Oh boy.
That guy is trying to open the door. It seems there is no way to get rid of it. Find a place to hide from it. Can I get like double hit? I wonder. Because like this stuff has the red marks on it too. I wonder if I can get double teamed by it. I gotta see real quick. Oh, I can! Extra! Ooh. Adorable. Alright. Go. I fucked up a little bit. Yeah. Not what I meant to do. Alright, stuck on the fucking roof. No, 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 no. Fuck, I should wait.
I no, I had. I had though. God fucking damn it! You gotta like be pinpoint with that shit, dude. Oh my god. He's gonna come back to chase me. I have a bad feeling it's going to come backwards to chase me. Um... Do not be afraid. I will not assimilate you. I am different from them. Please do not worry. You must have been the tips. You must have seen the tips I left behind. I knew that human beings must be very smart and excellent. For a human, it must be easy to get here. I've been waiting for your awakening for a long time. I hope you will not be disappointed because I am a latex beast. You must have gone 
a long path, right? Are you going to take a break and listen to what the latex beast says? I won't do anything, please give believe me. Suddenly a little nervous. I have never thought you would actually come. What should I do? You are already tense and breathless. You didn't expect a talking latex beast to be waiting for you, but maybe you can. But maybe he can help you escape from here. Talk to him. And they give you a save for a reason. Human, are you serious in front of me? When you step on the dripping goo from me, I feel it too. So respect me and stop stepping on it. Oh. She says the same thing. There's a lot of latex beasts. Are you sure you want to go in? Or is a latex piece in there? Are you sure you want to go in? I know it was different. Eh, huh? You and are you serious in front of me? Please do not eat it, my portion. Ventilation duct. Soft and fluffy tail. Can you face me first? I'm glad you didn't run away. You chose to leave me. Um, let me introduce myself. My name is Poro. If I had a gender, I should be male. As you can see, I am a latex beast, a quote monster. Ordinary remark, unremarkable, decided, dedicated to the pursuit of excellence, monster. But essentially, I'm almost the same as those outside. That will assimilate you. You can do best by not accidentally stumbling into my arms. The consequences are very serious. After I learned of your existence, I have been always wanting to see you with my own eyes. But there was a strange doctor who blocked all access to you. He molded the door shut, turned on the combination locks, and set up many obstacles. He did all this to avoid you from escaping this institute after waking up. And I, in order to get you here safely, also made a lot of preparations. I have post -mater posted materials all along the way to help you understand the situation. I also wrote a lot of important tips in person. I do, don't know if humans can read that carefully. But because I'm not very good at writing, there may have been spelling errors. But still, have to say, human, the human race is really excellent. Even if I leave a reminder, so many difficulties and obstacles are not so easy to pa pass. But you really did it. You eliminated all difficulties, solved so many puzzles, and came to the library. Excellent! I am honored to be able to walk, talk to a, hu a real human being, and a higher life that created us. I've never had a genuine dialogue with others, because here I am the only person I was a stray wolf. I actually haven't 
seen humans other than that strange doctor. Even that strange doctor, I never really have seen him. I, and I, I have never left this institute, so I don't know anything about the outside world. Since I can remember, this institute is already like this. Uh, sorry, I don't know how to leave this institute. I originally wanted to rely on that method. No, never mind. This research institute is... In oh, fuck, I accidentally pressed. Indirect something. Although I am also a latex animal, the relations between the white latex animal and the black latex animal is not good. If I hurriedly hur explored in the institute, I might be caught by the white latex beast. But don't worry, I'm not weak. There are so many latex beasts outside the library, and I am not afraid. They were originally a s the food resort reserves I raised on. Just accidentally made their numbers get out of control, and they taste so bad. I read in this book that humans also keep some animals as a stable source of food, and I wanted to try that too. When I come to reading, when it comes to reading, I love reading. This book is the most the book is the most indispensable in the entire library. In my long, lovely, lonely days, these books are all my life. The books tells me about stories about the outside world and describes a lot of things about the outside world. I yearn for good human food. I can't. I gotta fucking keep control of my twitchy fingers. Unfortunately, I'm just an ordinary latex beast, and I don't even have the courage to leave this institution. I feel like a I feel like I digress, sorry. I'm so lonely, but I finally have someone to talk to. And I accidentally said a lot. This is the first time someone is actually willing to listen to me. I'm so excited. I hope you don't mind, human. I'm just too lonely, just. Do you want to leave the library? No! Won't you stay a little longer? you to leave this, this institution is the primary goal. I remember that behind the pile of books was a key card. Long time along as long as the key card you as long as you have the key card you can open all doors in the library. Human, can you find it? You can find it. Don't touch my butt. I really want this. Yes. I really. Is this what I. Is this really what I want? I cannot do it. <laughs> do, don't. Don't turn around so suddenly. You scare me a lot. No, nothing. I just came to see if you found it. It looks like you were, like you have found the keycard. Um, you know where to go, right? But the, that place. I better. It's better to go and see for yourself. I won't run around with you. If you still need help, just come back and find me. Human. When you're stuck, when you stuck out your butt just now, I found your tight pants have a <laughs> smell. I mean, the tight pants don't smell like pants. They, they're something weird and familiar to me. But it must be my imagination. Um, keycard has been obtained to go to the door. It's in my pants! Why is it in my pants? Hey Pearl, what do you want to be transferred? Just kidding. Though the balcony you through the balcony you can see the door that needs the key card open. I wonder if I will accompany you. 
a latex beast with a human avoiding the hunt of a group of latex beasts. Does it sound so too dramatic? But don't worry, I will keep an eye on you. Right. I'm gonna have to end this in. Uh, let me go save. There's... Don't worry, Pearl, I'm coming back. What's up, Pearl? Well, don't worry, I will keep an eye on you. I think that was new. Really takes me just in there as well. So I do have to go down there. I kind of want to look around a bit more. I bit your tail. Learning to write requires a process. Up to the tail. Train training. They stop looking. Yeah. It's me for this episode. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. See you next time.